in Jack this week is the 2012 ACC AHA guideline for the diagnosis and management of patients with stable ischemic heart disease. This guideline is intended to apply to patients with stable known or suspected ischemic heart disease, including new onset chest pain, that is specifically low risk unstable angina, or adults with stable pain or angina equivalent syndromes. For patients with acute coronary syndromes or acute MI, the authors quickly refer us to the guidelines for ST segment elevation, MI, or the guidelines for management of patients with unstable angina or non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarctions. So in short, this new guideline addresses those patients with unstable angina who can be categorized as low risk. The guideline is extensive and goes into detail concerning the diagnosis of stable ischemic heart disease, risk assessment, medical management, and revascularization, and finally, patient follow-up as well. To give you an example, I was just confronted with a young male patient with one episode of shoulder pain while shoveling who had a perfectly normal ECG and physical exam, and only hypertension is a risk factor. What to do to further work up this low-risk story? I went to the guidelines and went through the options, which gave me a lot of information as to the usefulness of each testing modality and its results. Take a look at this new guideline. You will find it useful for a whole host of patients who present with chest pain, and I bet you will download it frequently as a reference source. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Connect.